today we're going to explore the myths that I believed about relaxed hair growing up. Now all the way through my teens, my hair looked like this for a very long time. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys why some of these myths were misinformed. my channel. Today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys five relaxed hair myths that I believe growing up that need to be busted, okay? <laughs> so the first myth that I believed about my relaxed hair growing up was that water was the number one enemy, okay? <laughs> this is grounded to the fact that growing up my hair was either straight or in curls. Now we all know that if your hair is curly, especially if it's not naturally curly, and you put some water on it, it's gonna go straight. And if your hair is like straight, straight, like bone straight, and you put some water on it, it's gonna poof up, right? So this is probably why I stayed believing that water was the enemy of relaxed hair. But now that I'm older and actually look after my own hair and take the time to notice and research what my hair needs I know that water is really 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 important for your hair's moisture and hydration so do not skip those wash day routine okay <laughs> second thing that I believed growing up was that in order for my hair to be bone bone straight and super 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 slick down in the relaxer to work properly I had to live in the relaxer for as long as possible in my hair now this resulted in burns and like itches and like me sitting there like rocking and pain and being like I don't feel it yet I don't feel it yet I don't feel it yet there is a reason why relaxer kits come with instructions on how long one should keep it on depending on their hair types so me doing this was actually over processing my hair which is leading to a lot of dryness leading to a lot of breakage and I was just like why well, my hair ain't growing why my hair ain't grow what well, girl that's why you were over processing your hair okay imagine me sitting there being like mm, it's not burning it's not mm -mm, it's not going mm -mm. inside you're feeling that burn you know you're feeling it but you're like no it's not burning just because you've been told the longer you keep it in the more your hair gonna look slick and bone straight and that's mm huh third thing I believed growing up was that my hair had to be relaxed every single time before I braided it. Now that I'm older and wiser and actually do research about my hair, I know how bad this is for your hair. So when your hair is freshly relaxed, it's at its weakest point, especially by the roots. And that's exactly where one braids their hair when they're putting on some braids. That's exactly where the tension is going. So now if your hair is at its weakest because you just chemically straighten the hair, putting um, the weight of the braids or the tension of you know the braids being pulled back will result in your hair breaking because it's currently weak um, I've read a couple of places where they say it's advised for you to wait two three four weeks before braiding your hair after relaxing but lately I like to wait until I start to see just a little bit of new growth you know so that my braids are you know are being connected to the new growth and not necessarily where my relaxed hair is by the by the roots just just to be on the safer side just so i know that i'm not breaking off my hair at the roots because girl i don't want no bald patches okay i don't want no bald patches <laughs> the fourth myth i believe growing up about my relaxed hair was that relaxers made my hair longer hence i had to relax my hair every four to six weeks like why <laughs> so first of all relaxers i would not necessarily say relaxers make your hair longer but after relaxing your hair your hair is longer because the new growth that you had has been straightened right so if the hair if the new growth is now straightened and not tightly coiled and bunched up you've now made it longer your hair is going to appear and be longer because you've stretched out the new growth make giving you a little bit of length girl giving you a little bit of length now considering that I was relaxing my hair every four to six weeks I was seeing like an inch growth like like because your hair hasn't grown that much in four to six weeks so if you're relaxing your hair in four to six weeks you're risking over processing the hair that's previously been relaxed trying to get that little 
one inch your hair straight which is not really i mean is, is it really worth it is it really <laughs> now that i'm older and i've researched about my hair and i've learned about my hair i do stretch it out to about a six month period by doing protective styles uh protective braidings it doesn't have to be braids i can just like you know tie my hair in a in a bun tie it up like this or make it look neat put some conditioner like you can soften your new growth to make your hair manageable with time and this way it allows for you to stretch out your relaxers and avoid over processing your hair by trying to relax that one inch of hair it's not worth it okay the fifth thing i believed about my relaxer growing up was that my hair had to drink the relaxer in order for the relaxer to work properly and by drink the relaxer i mean i had to look like an ice cream cone on top for as long as, as possible like i said in my second myth so my whole scalp hair root to tip would be covered in relaxer for as long as possible now i i my hair could be by my knees now if I knew this when I was younger because by doing this I was over processing my hair and over processing my hair this way resulted in my hair breaking my hair being dry my hair being thin have you like a mm, mm, I'm one person who does not like thin hair. Before you implement something into your hair routine or before you start believing something about your hair, I do advise that you do your own research and not necessarily be like, oh, they said this girl, I'm going to do this to my hair girl. Or they said if I leave it for long, it's going to look slick. I'm going to do that with my thing. Because all it took was for me to do some research and I would find out that no, this is this would result in this and that would result in this. Anyway, guys, those are the five myths I believed about my relaxed hair growing up. If you guys have any myths that you believed in growing up please do leave them down below let's laugh together let's conversate you know let's 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 talk about it and be like what was i thinking why why now we older now we smarter and yeah thank you guys for watching my video don't forget to like subscribe and share anything you'd like to see please do leave it down in the comments below thank you guys for watching see you guys again next week bye guys <laughs>